All right, check it out. Online marketers, online entrepreneurs, people who are doing things online already have bad enough reputations. People think that we're like shysters and we're like, we're, we're selling bogus online and ripping people off for millions of dollars and we're stealing granny's IRA. We're tricking people and giving them false hope and false promises. People think that online entrepreneurs uh, don't have their best interests in mind. And, and I can see why they think that too because, man, I mean, look, <laughs> I, I want to know what's going on in the market, so I subscribe to all these newsletters, people that are marketing their different products, and they're just, they're just not doing it right. They're just, they're just not doing it right. The first thing I want you to remember is that as an online entrepreneur, in 1997 or you know, all the way through 2001, 2002, 2004, in the early stages of this, of this process, it was kind of a big deal to be an online entrepreneur, okay? To make a full-time living online was like, it was like unheard of. Now, it's not so unheard of, okay? Now, this is the new small business. You don't open up a bakery anymore. I mean, you can. You don't open up, you know, a, uh, a record shop anymore, or you set up a website, you know? These are, the new, these are the new small businesses. So, first of all, remember this. This is a business. This isn't like a, I mean, sometimes I'll use the term a, a hustle or a side hustle, but this really isn't, a hustle implies that there's like, it's temporary. This isn't temporary. If you want to build a full-time business digitally, you can do that. Plenty of people are doing it. But here's how to not look like a freaking scummy douchebag, like I've seen some people doing, okay? The first thing you have to remember, and probably the most important thing is, teaching is marketing, okay? So you don't have to worry about all this marketing stuff anymore. That, this is what get, just gets on my nerves. Like I see people and I, I'll read these email newsletters because I subscribe to everyone's shit just so I can see what they're doing so I can probably not do what they're doing, do the opposite. I'll subscribe to their stuff. And they're using, I can tell they're using all this NLP and they're using like, they're using like, you know, these marketing keywords and some of that stuff works sometimes, but it's very like obvious. I feel like I'm about to be sold a 1992 Kia for like $10,000 over market price. I feel like someone's going to like, you know, um, go to my bank and drain my savings account because I feel suckered. And so you don't want people to feel suckered. You want people to want what you have. And I can't think of anything I want more than knowledge. So you have to teach people things. And then once you teach them something, you won't have to sell them, okay? All you have to do is show people that you have some information that they want and teach it to them for free. It's not, here's the information I'm dangling in front of you. It's, or like I said, here's the information I'm dangling in front of you. It's, Here's the information. I'm going to tell you what it is. I'm not going to drag it out forever. I'm not going to keep hiding the, hiding the information, hiding the information, teasing it in front of you, saying, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. I'm actually going to give, I'm just going to give you the information. I'm going to give you a little small lead in, and I'm going to give you the shit. I'm just going to give you the stuff. Give people what they want to know. And then it's so easy to say, wow, I really learned a lot. I wonder what I could learn if I actually invested in one of their programs or their products or their other stuff. And people will buy from you from all, for all sorts of reasons. People will buy from you because they're just really appreciative of what you've done for them, even with their free stuff. Uh, people will buy from you because they know that if your free stuff is this good, imagine how good your paid stuff would be. But notice you're not really pushing the paid stuff. Yes, on richlearnsomething.com, there are things you can buy. You can't really buy things on the homepage, but if you're in my email newsletters, sometimes I'll offer you to buy things that I've created that are really, really good products, that are educational, that are courses, that are the results of things I've learned, but I'm never pushing you to buy stuff. Don't push people. Just teach them, and as long as they're learning something, they're going to see the value. You know, uh, last point here, I read um, the I Will Teach You To Be Rich blog religiously. I read that shit all the time. And I kind of felt like I kind of felt like I didn't really need to buy Ramit Sethi's book because I felt like he's giving away all his free information on the website. Why would I buy his book when he's giving away all his information on the website? Because I buy it because one, I appreciate him and I want him to keep doing what he's doing, so I'm doing my part to support him. And two, I figure, man. If I could just learn one more thing in his book that I didn't learn on his website, that's going to be extremely valuable. It's probably worth the 13 bucks. So. The only way to, to sell things on the internet without looking like a creepy, creepy huckster is, is to not sell things, but to teach people. So go out there and teach someone something. Teach someone how to ride a bike or something. Shit. <laughs> I'm on the treadmill. That's how I dropped my cell phone last time. I hope I don't drop it. All right, bye.